Patricia. All is well that ends well. And that's the situation this morning right now in Tequesta. The last of the Palm Beach County Fire Rescue crews are getting ready to clear the scene. Now, Amerigas has taken over the situation. The tanker itself, which was causing the leak, took 12 and a half hours to finally cap that gas leak. They had to put a new valve on. The good news here in Tequesta, the air rating is safe, air quality back to normal. You no longer smell that rotten egg scent any longer. Railways are reopening, and within a few minutes, this road itself should be reopening too. Here's what Palm Beach County Fire Rescue Captain Al Barado had to say about the situation. The gas leak has been mitigated. A valve was changed, and the leak has been stopped. The atmospheric testing around the area has come back positive, so there are no life safety hazards. Now, just to recap and give you an idea of, of exactly what took place here over the past 12 and a half hours, the leak started around 4.30 p.m. yesterday. It's a huge propane storage tank that was full of 30,000 pounds of propane gas. It's where other propane tr uh, trucks actually came to fill up. A truck was there yesterday trying to fill the storage tank with more propane gas when somehow that tanker sprung a leak, and that's why Palm Beach County Fire Rescue had to try and burn as much of the gas off. They were hoping it would only take a couple of hours, but again, as you can see, we're still out here at 6 o'clock in the morning. Things finally just winding down now. It took 12 and a half hours to cap that leak. The cause of the leak remains under investigation at this hour, but I'm sure all the folks who live in Tequesta, the ones that had to evacuate, are finally relieved that they can return home. And for more on the evacuees, I sent it over to my colleague, Chris Emma, who is live at St. Jude's Church this morning. And we're about less than a mile away here at St. Jude's Church in Tequesta, right along U.S. Highway 1, where just a little while ago, folks here that were staying here overnight were finally told that they could go back to their homes. A lot of very relieved people after a very, very long night. It was around 520 when sheriff's deputies finally showed up and told the somewhat about 25 to 30 people that were staying here at the church overnight that they could finally go home. Some of those folks immediately left. Some are still straggling out right now. Now, some of the ages of the people that stayed here overnight, very young to the very elderly, but again, a lot of the people living in these neighborhoods, they were finally told that they were able to go home. Some of them very relieved. In fact, we spoke with one woman you're about to hear from right now. She was driving around for hours waiting for that van to finally be lifted so she could go home. Take a listen. I looked at the television and there was my neighborhood. <laughs> All right. And I thought, this can't be true. What are they talking about? And sure enough, so, but you've been, the gas tank went you, you've kaput. Been That poor lady driving around for hours just waiting for that ban to be lifted so she could go home and take care of her dog. Some of the people that were here, they actually had their pets with them. They had to stay in the cars with their pets because the pets weren't allowed in here. But the American Red Cross volunteers were great all night. They were here all night giving food, cots, water, coffee to all the people that were stuck here. But again, the good news, some good news for some of the people, they do get to go home early this morning. Reporting live from Tequesta, I'm Chris Emma, WPBF 25 News. Guys, back to you.